You know, it's really nice when you can lake trout fish just flat lining with good conditions like we have today. You can see Erin's got her really nice fish on. Just being nice and gentle with it. We haven't seen it yet, but we will soon. The water's very clear here, so the visibility is excellent. I can't uh, can't horse it up. I only have a 12 pound. Is that the nine and, and a half, nine and a half footer? This is an eight footer. Eight footer. Yep. Perfect. That's what I use like when I'm fishing in Agra. Yep. Casting for chinooks and stuff. A little closer in. Nice. Good job. Let it thrash a little bit just before I try to get the fish out of the net. That's one thing that they're notorious for is rolling in the line. So you got to be careful. Yeah. You can see they're a gorgeous fish. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Nice and healthy. This is probably the Canadian fish. You can get them from coast to coast. Yep. They love cold water. They're uh, great it's cold eating. Cold too, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's a lot colder when you get oh, down yeah. a few feet below the surface. So he's going to get him back in, and he wants to go. They've got tons of energy. The surface temperature is about 67 degrees, but yeah. There it goes. Perfect. Nice. I bet you yeah. it's really cold down below. Oh yeah. So this is the rig, you know. It's nice when you travel on flying trips, and this is a flying trip because you got to fly and get to Winnipeg, and then from Winnipeg, come up to God's Lake. All of the rods that we brought are two-piece, which is really handy. So this is a two-piece rod as well yep. for a long rod. Um, you, can, you can bring one-piece rods, but you know what? If you're going to go into float plane, we're going to be going down God's River and fishing for brook trout, it can get a little bit awkward when you've got uh, gear that's big size. But these reels are ideal for trolling. You know, earlier, were you set at the same distance as your first fish that you hit? A little bit more. A little bit more. I had it about 125 feet the first time. This is 150 this time. Yeah. This is a Rapella RSC. This is a two reel, and it's a 20 size, so it's a smaller one. If uh, Aaron does a lot of fishing on Lake Ontario, I do some. You normally use larger reels, especially when you use different types of specialized lines, like copper or lead core or stainless steel, because you need the volume, the capacity. This reel, you can see Aaron's got spooled with that 832 suffix. It's the green line. Is this 30 or 20? 30. 30 pounds. So it's got the, the line diameter of 8 pound monofilament. And the counter is right there. To reset it, you just push the button that's on the side, and it resets it to zero. When you hit the reliever and let the line go out, it starts showing you how many feet of line goes out. The drag is the large star drag on the side, so it's very simple to use. And there's a tension setting for the actual reel as well. So it's simple to use, on and off clicker, but uh, extremely effective if you're fishing in deeper water and you want to keep track of how much line you have out. And with certain lures, like this Rapala Tail Dancer, the number 11, you know that if you have about 150 feet of line out, especially the braid, you're down about 30 feet. So if you have half that, you're probably down about half that distance. So it's they, ideal. They work really good for uh, walleye, trolling for walleye oh, as well. Yeah, Just yeah, having yeah. the repeatability, getting your yep. bait back down the exact same depth can make a difference between catching fish and not catching yep, fish. I agree. So.